what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel it's so great to have you guys i also wanted to welcome all of my brand new subscribers and anyone who's randomly coming across this video it's so great to have you guys so for today's video what we're going to be doing is going over how to properly clean and sanitize the tank so let's get to it it is important to keep the tank clean so you can keep your lizard healthy and in order to keep your lizard healthy you have to spot clean deep clean and sanitize the general rule is to spot clean daily and and deep clean weekly. The first one we'll go over is spot cleaning, which is picking up poos and small messes. There are plenty of different ways that people clean tanks. It is really up to you whatever method you want to use, but I am going to cover what I do for my tanks and have been doing for my tanks successfully for years. The first method is Eco Clean in Caucidial Disinfectant Mix Spray. With this, I actually got these off of beardedragon.co. I will put the links in the description and each bottle actually has the instructions on how to make the solution. Literally all you do is mix it with water. It just tells you how much to put in how much water. For me all I do is take the two and use a little squirt bottle. I pour a little bit in of each and then mix it with water. The next method which is really popular is vinegar and water. I haven't used this because the smell of vinegar just ugh. Ah, no, thank you. Also, this does not kill Caucidia or any of that bacteria, so I choose to use my method because it has the Caucidial disinfectant within it. But vinegar and water is all natural and it is a safe thing to use to clean. Some people also use something called a wipeout solution. I have never used it, but this is what that looks like right here. This is an option. I honestly don't know a heck of a lot about it. It's worked for some people, but the people that I do know used it switched to something else. Another really good one is Veterinary Disinfectant F10. I believe you can find this easily just on a Google search. This is what vets offices use to clean and disinfect everything. And then the last method for spot cleaning and disinfecting is Lysol wipes or disinfectant wipes. Before I used used the eco clean and Caucidial disinfectant I used to use disinfectant wipes and it never affected my lizards in a bad way but I did switch to the other method because it is eco-friendly and it has the Caucidial disinfectant just keep in mind when using these disinfectants that some substrate is going to be harder to clean than others like carpet for example that one is kind of a pain in the butt to clean especially if the poo is runny oh! Lord, you better just take it out and wash it or throw it away at that point. <laughs> Tile, laminate, and vinyl are going to be the easiest to clean. If you have a bioactive tank, which is a live tank that's supposed to be self-cleaning, some people don't take the poos out. Up to you, but if you do not have a bioactive tank, you need to clean that regularly. Then there is my favorite method for spot cleaning. This is not for poos, it is just for things like dried greens, shed, scales, dirt, dust, whatever it is. And that is my handy dandy handheld vacuum. Let me tell you, this is a lifesaver. I am telling you, you do not know how easy life can be. I will put the link for this bad boy in the description. So that brings us to the second topic, which is deep cleaning. This is very, very important. Should be done weekly, at least once a week. Usually I just choose to do it on the weekend. And what I mean by deep cleaning is you should not only be washing the substrate, but you should be washing the tank accessories. You should be washing the glass. When it comes to food dishes, for example, you should be washing these. And I'll usually just use some dish detergent or dish soap to wash out those bowls. Usually it's Dawn. When it comes to rocks, bricks, or slate, these I actually don't clean weekly, but I do clean them if they have been pooed on. And the easiest way to clean this is with some soap. I usually, again, just use Dawn. Just put on there, get a scrub brush, get it nice and wet, scrub, 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 get it off, rinse, and then I will put the Eco Clean and Caucidio Disinfectant and let it sit for at least five minutes and then rinse it off and let it dry. When it comes to glass, this Eco Clean and Caucidio Disinfectant will clean the glass. 
some people have used Windex. I don't like using Windex because of the chemicals of it. And others have used Wipeout, vinegar and water, veterinary disinfectant, whatever disinfectant I listed for spot cleaning, you can use on the glass. If they pooed in their water dish, you need to disinfect it with Cossidial disinfectant and EcoClean. Otherwise, they will get sick. When it comes to carpet, it needs to be washed weekly, whether you sit there and scrub it or you just toss it in the washing machine. Whichever one, it needs to be cleaned weekly and then it also needs to be tossed after a month and then you get a new carpet. When it comes to tile, laminate, vinyl, all of that, you just need to clean up any debris, of course poo, anything like that. You spray the Cossidio disinfectant in EcoClean and let that sit for like a good five minutes without the lizard in the tank. Okay, just let them run around or do something while they're not sitting in there. You don't want them to be licking up the disinfectant and then wipe it out. When it comes to loose substrate, you should be cleaning this daily. If you see poo, get it out. If you see food debris, get it out. You should be tossing that substrate every month and then put in new substrate. When it comes to wood, if you have any wood logs or any wood platforms or anything wood, you should be cleaning this also every week if there's any poo on it or anything like that. Just get it off with soap and then disinfect it. Let it dry and put it back in the sink. All right, you guys, so that's all I have for the cleaning bit, but stay tuned to the end because there will be extra lizard footage. Well, that means it is time for the lizard of the week. So this week's lizard of the week is Gizmo and his owner, Melinda. I mean, look at that stance and the smile. You can't get any better than that. <laughs> So congrats to you both, and if you want your lizard to be the lizard of the week next week, be sure to send me those photos to my social media accounts. If you're still watching, be sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to check out my website at www.lizardguru.com to get a bunch of useful and fun lizard things that you won't find anywhere else. Also, be sure to turn on the notification bell for this channel and my second channel, Alex's Random Entertainment, so you can get all of our videos updates on the second channel it is all content that is not lizard related if you're interested keep in mind it is not child friendly it is for adults so as always from my family to yours I hope you have a wonderful wonderful week but first enjoy some extra lizard footage Mwah! climb in my hair. Okay. All right. Oh, there she goes. Uh, so now she's in my hair. Um, yeah. So this is, this is life now. All right. So after struggling with her, I finally have her in my hand and now I can put her back in the tank. So yeah. 